All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about matching number lines with absolute values. So basically, just when we talk about absolute value inequalities, such as this one, the absolute value of x greater than 9, really what numbers are we talking about? So um, one thing mechanically, you can just kind of learn how to break these apart. But let's just think about intuitively, what numbers can we take the absolute value of so that you get something greater than 9? Let's, let's make the number line that goes with that. Again, remember, the absolute value simply turns something positive if it's not already positive. So certainly 0 wouldn't work, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 wouldn't work. The absolute value of 8 is 8. It's not greater than 9. 9 would also uh, not work because 9 is not greater than 9. But notice, for example, maybe if I plugged in 10, the absolute value of 10 is 10. That's bigger than 9. Likewise, 11 would work, 12 would work, etc. So 9 doesn't work, but anything to the right of that would work. So that would be uh, at least part of it. Are there any other numbers that work? Well, negative 1 would give me, the absolute value of negative 1 would be positive 1. That's not greater than 1. Same thing with negative 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The absolute value of negative 9 is positive 9, which is not bigger. So that doesn't work. But notice, for example, if we used negative 10, the absolute value of negative 10, is that greater than 9? Well, yeah, because the absolute value of negative 10 is positive 10. Likewise with negative 11, 12, 13, forever and ever and ever. So it says any number to the left of negative 9 or any number bigger to the right of positive 9 would satisfy our inequality. Okay? So that would be the number line that goes, kind of the shaded number line that goes with that inequality. <clears throat> Let's do a couple others real quick. The absolute value of x less than or equal to 6. Whose numbers can we take the absolute value of and get a number smaller than 6? Well, the absolute value of 6 does equal 6, so that certainly works. The absolute value of negative 6 also equals 6, so that would work. Notice if we take any number in between negative 6 and 6, negative 5, 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the absolute value of all of those numbers ends up being something less than or equal to 6. So everything in between also works. Um, notice if you take anything bigger than 6, say 7, 8, 9, 10, well, the absolute value of those numbers would be themselves. For example, 7 or 8 or 9 or 10. None of those are less than or equal to 6. So nothing bigger than 6 works. Likewise, uh, notice if, we, if, for example, we tried to use like negative 7. The absolute value of negative 7, we could say, is that less than or equal to 6? Well, no, because the absolute value of negative 7, that, that is 7. So. The absolute value of any number to the left of negative 6 would actually give you a number uh, that, that whose absolute value is actually bigger. So we've now got the number line that goes with this inequality. It says it's every number between negative 6 um, and uh, 6. Maybe one little thing to observe here, too. Notice we had the absolute value of x greater than a number. And we kind of get numbers uh, on the outside. They kind of extend off to negative infinity and positive infinity. Notice here we have x less than or equal to something. And we kind of get a little, you know, kind of a little section of numbers, um, a finite section of numbers. So maybe just something to think about as you go along here. Let's use this idea in mind, actually. Suppose we want to make an absolute value inequality that produces this following graph. We want numbers that are trapped between negative 3 and positive 3 inclusive. Well, what did this inequality do? The absolute value of x less than or equal to 6, that gave us um, all numbers that were trapped between negative 6 and 6 inclusive. So I think to produce this, this you know, basically a, a equivalent graph, it says we should be able to use just the absolute value of x less than or equal to, well, not positive 6, but this time simply positive 3. This would be the absolute value inequality that describes this shaded interval of numbers.